Talk about kicking a man while he's down. While Harley is in a frenzy to restructure itself in order to stay alive, Something which is to be commended, really. Indian has updated its iconic chief lineup, bringing more value, style and technological innovation, which this segment of motorcycling hasn't seen for a while. Since they launched the Indian Challenger, actually. I mean, that thing had riding modes. Unheard of on big American cruisers. Welcome back to Long Way Home, everyone. The place where getting your motorcycle news is easier than getting a little baby Africa twin but not by much. Indian has made quite a few changes to their chief lineup. Let's see what it's all about. I find this release from Indian to be very interesting. Indian chiefs until now were expected to come with at least three more headlights than socially acceptable. You expected the fenders to be humongous. You also expected the headlight shroud to cover the entire moon. But all of that seems to have changed now, even if this is one of Indian's heritage models. The new Chief lineup is now split into three variants. The Chief Dark Horse, the Chief Bobber Dark Horse and the Super Chief Limited. All of them have the same underpinnings, the same engine, frame, electronics. The only way they differ from each other is by their different looks and the different design emotions they are meant to ooze out into the world. The engine that powers all three models is the Thunder Stroke 116, 116 cubic inches or almost 1900 cubic centimeters of pure torque making machine. An old school air cooled V twin which loves to rev very low making its peak torque at 120 foot pounds or around 160 newton meters at just 3200 rpm. This is the exact definition of an engine that just chills. Slow raving, but at the twist of the throttle, you better be holding on to those handlebars. The frame for the new model has been changed from cast aluminium to tubular steel and even with this increase in weight, the bike has shed a massive 44 kilograms. That is more than a 10% decrease in weight. Unheard of in the motorcycling world and uh, you will definitely feel it. Coupled together with the shortened wheelbase, the new Chief will definitely be a lot more agile on the road. The entry level model, the Chief Dark Horse, comes with alloy wheels, no chrome in sight, neutral set foot pegs and a flat handlebar. The Chief Bobber Dark Horse gets spoked rims, mini ape hangers and forward set foot pegs, while the top of the range Super Chief Limited is kitted out for longer rides with a large windshield, floorboards, a pillion seat and more comfortable handlebars. As far as electronics are concerned, keyless ride comes standard on all three models, so does cruise control and three different riding modes. ABS of course, at least in the States, is optional. The entire instrument panel has been replaced with a 4 inch round color TFT display. Indian calls this Ride Command. It is a touchscreen, which is great. It obviously also works when you have your gloves on. With your phone connected, you can control all of your incoming and outgoing calls, your music and your navigation, all by just touching the screen. There are also handlebar controls, so you don't have to take your hands off of them. All your trip computers, riding modes and other settings live on this little color screen. Absolutely lovely implementation, a lot of technology inside a minimal, round, old school looking circle. Well done on that Indian. BMW, I want a touch screen as well. I want to touch virtual buttons. All in all, I'm very excited about this update from Indian. They've understood a couple of things which their uh, friends seem to not have. Don't say no to technology for the sake of keeping it authentic. Find a way to integrate that technology in a package where it doesn't overpower the bike's design language. And also, they surprised everyone with actually changing what made the Chief the Chief. Short mud guards, one round headlight, no other fluff on the bike, simple but still keeping within those boundaries. All in all, a great update. I hope they sell a lot of them. I can't wait to take one out for a ride. In the meantime, drop down to the comment section below and let us all know what your take on Indian's 2022 Chief lineup is. Good direction, bad direction, let us all know. 
Well, that's the show for today, everyone. If you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you think you've learned something new, consider subscribing or becoming one of our Patreons to help us make more of these shows. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one.